Okay, welcome back for this part 3 of uh, this analysis of innovation. And before continuing, let's, let's do a recap of the two first parts. We saw how innovation was able to stay alive and focusing on not losing a game with his build order, uh, the Gas 13, that allow him to scout and adapt uh, to what his opponent is doing very early in the game. In uh, on Terraform, MMA chose to go for an early expand and innovation decided to um, go for this one shift very early on and try to do uh, some damage and control the game. Then he just uh, decided to take his third base at safe time and use his unit with to defend it, defend it uh, relying on a lot of map control. He has he had unit everywhere and was able to move his army uh, according to his vision. In this game, MMA is going to go for a more aggressive build. Like I said in the first part, the two main builds of uh, NTVT are the gas first, the, the one that he's doing right now, or the fast expand with some reaper or with the gas 15 and helium production really quick. In this case, okay, a little pause. In this case, innovation went for this uh, fast gas at 13, which is between the two those two main options of every turn player. This gas 13 window will allow him to scout early and have those safe marine very early on. In this case, he's going to be able to scout MMA gas first. Like I said, you can simply compare right there. If we pause, we uh, go in innovation vision. Right there, we have the timing of innovation orbital, and right there, we have what he's scouting. Oh, you don't have an orbital yet, your rax is delayed, mine is already done. This means that you want for a guest first and right now he's going to reverse a little in ma just to you know um, prevent MMA from mining with all his SCV and then he's going to go back he's going to cut his marine right there to get his faster factory like he did on terraform so the first change that we are going to see from him will come a little bit later this just give us the possibility to check his build again, a second supply, and then the second gas really fast. No tech lab, no reactor on this barrack. barracks. We are just going to pump those marines out one after the other. Once this gas is done, three in it, and we are going to see the exact same thing, tech lab plus starboard. The marine production continue and a third supply after the starboard. So we know that MMA is going on gas first, he can do a lot of different things. He can go either Banshee, which he really likes to do, he is a very aggressive player with a very nice multitask so he will often choose to, to go Banshee but he can also choose to go for some Hellion Marine medivac play or with even mine if he choose to do that. In this case we know that he's going to be able to attack us first because his units are going to be out faster this is why instead of getting this faster Banshee like we saw in game 1 he's taking uh, he's building a Raven the mine right there in on terraform mma chose to go for this early expand which allow innovation to place his mine in a more aggressive position right there for example but in this case he knows that mma is going to attack him really really fast so he's building his uh, mine on the top of the ramp we know that mma is going to attack us but that doesn't mean that we are not going to get this second uh, command center. Right now, it's very great split from uh, MMA, and innovation is just going to hold. Right now, 
he only need to buy 30 seconds. He has one auto turrets to do that, but look at how patient he is with his auto turrets. He didn't just rush the auto turret, he waited, excuse me, for his marine to be in position at the top of this round. And the push of MMA is going to be a little bit delayed. Right now, I think that innovation should go back directly to his to his main. After the Raven, we saw Viking and then Cloak. Right after, if you don't go for um, Banshee really fast, that's really not a problem. Delayed Banshee can do a lot of damage actually. So this Viking is really safe, but then again, it just part of the mindset of innovation which uh, where he does not want to win the game as fast as possible he just wants to not lose it so double alien production and the banshee are going to give us this map control back so this is uh, all really classic right now he's just keeping his marine and Viking Raven in a very defensive position because one mine and six marine can do a lot of damage in, in this in this mineral line really fast. If you lose if you lose ten ETV, it just put you so much behind. And this bunch is just going to try to scout and what see what MMA is up to. And right now we have this second factory after the eight minute mark. Right now, MMA is trying to bait innovation is this mine, but it's not going to happen. And if we check the hot key of innovation, I think it's really interesting to see. Um, this Banshee is not in a control group. He's using his army control group only for his defensive unit. And I think it was really interesting to see it because he's a defensive player and it just makes perfect sense. Um, a key and all that kind of stuff are just about your preference so if you don't want to do that if you prefer to have this banshee in a control group that's just perfectly fine so no no ebay uh, maybe an ebay but not too red no ebay actually uh, and two hiking that's nice but he's just going to dodge this can and trying to come back just after so what, right now, uh, he kept his alien in a very safe position. Uh, those two aliens are protecting because he knows that there's still a medivac and he doesn't want to lose anything to this. Like I said, losing a lot of SCV like uh, MMA is losing right now is really easy. Already 9 is really easy. Look, 0. And innovation is really focusing on not losing the SCV really quickly. We saw the reactor after uh, this second second factory sorry right now we're going to see the first move out and the reason for this is just to have enough uh, unit in position right there to be able to do that uh, those two marines I don't know where they are going we're going to see that really fast but if we go back in the vision of innovation sorry look at how passive he is he has no idea that an army is there, but if he want to check right there and go in the bush to check, he might just lose 3 aliens and he knows that if he does that, he might just lose the game because of it. So he's just going to send those to Marin. He still has no idea right there. And now seeing a tank, some, some Marin and all that kind of jazz he's just going to back up right there he still doesn't have his tank ready right now it is ready uh, he's going to take his racks to check his front but there is a lot of tanks right there and it's probably going to be a frontal attack and now it's really easy to panic and just take all the CV and try to break him but he has a tank and he has those three turrets right there three turrets can do so much uh, for innovation. They are tanky, they take the aggro, so 
that's so useful for innovation and he's able to defend the push really easily with his a good concave and he's going to land us to us. This production this Viking uh, production constant Viking production give him the air advantage and now MMA is desperate, he wants to do the damage, now he's going to land the Viking once MMA is in range of this siege tank and he's going to be able to clean this off with a lot of ease. How many SUV died? Zero SUV died. He only bring this one, I'm not even sure why. So when you're go going to see those kind of push coming towards you, sometimes it can be scary, but look, he even took his third uh, command center while all of this happened was happening. Um, it's really easy to panic and bring some SEV uh, right with you. But with some Viking that you can land you are, and some tank at the back, those non steam and no, no, uh, non combat shield marine can do s are just going to melt really fast. So MMA just lost a lot of SEV during uh, with against those Banshee and he has no tech, like no gas, no tech, so he's just going to GG out of this game. Um, innovation also used that build against Gumiho at, again, um, during the match against Sebenu during the ace game and was able to win that, so you might as well check this out. Uh, he did the same build, in Gumiho went for gas first and innovation went for this Quick Raven, I think he lost it, right? Yes, he lost his Raven, that's, that's okay. He did his job. And then the Viking to push those... Um, yeah, the Viking is really helpful to zone the Medivac out. And if he's going Banshee, just killing those free Banshee are, is always nice. Because at a high level, those six Marines aren't going to be able to... To destroy a banshee even if they are under a raven so that was it um yeah see you next time